So hi, it's Mr. Baglio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on the microbit. So in order to do this, what you do first is go to my website. You're probably going to be doing this on a Chromebook, but it will be mostly the same. And this is how the website will look to you. Go to the helpful links, which is under resources, helpful links, and it says microbit. The second one says how to update the firmware on the microbit. So you click that, then go down the page, and it says here. So click the first of these links at the bottom, and then it will go to the DAP link page. Go down. And you're going to go to 2 and do the 0243 for commercially purchased microbits and download this file. So if you click on it, it should automatically download down here. If you're on a Chromebook, it will download and then you'll see in this lower corner a little pop-up that says view this in your files, which you will then do. So if we were to go to the Finder, and open a new window. On a Mac, that's what you would see, and you'd go to, um, actually, easier to go to downloads, and it will be this first one with a big name. Um, next, what you're going to do is take and plug in your micro bit, and you're going to plug it in while you're holding down the reset button. If you hold that down while you're plugging in and put it, put it into something called maintenance mode, which is what you need to do in order to upgrade. So I will do that. And I should have done it right. Let's see. If I open a new window, there it is, maintenance mode. So that's the inside of maintenance mode. And now what we need to do is go and go here and I'm going to it's actually going to be easier on a Chromebook because it will just pop up both of these will pop up in your files simultaneously so let me go here and open the downloads folder and the top one is right here I will drag that into the maintenance mode and it is flashing you can't see it okay and then it stopped flashing it always says it's ejected improperly don't worry about that then you eject it properly so now it's back to micro bit and you hit eject and you're all done and now the good thing about that is that it is now usable with the um, updated version of the iOS microbit app so you can do all sorts of things that involve connecting it to your phone. That's it. That was easy. Hopefully you're able to do that painlessly on your microbit. Thank you.